Welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT-TV. MindReader is an open source application that connects Google Glass with a device to monitor brain activity, allowing users to take pictures and share them on Twitter or Facebook without physical or verbal interaction. The hardware employs the commercially available brain monitor NeuroSky EEG biosensor technology. While this particular application seems like more of a novelty, the medical potential for this type of technology could have it being used for physical rehabilitation and areas that would enable the disabled to move around freely. As telekinetics continue to evolve, devices like this will be seen as the entry-level ideas that lead to much more significant advances. This fall, Toyota will begin trial leasing of newly developed clinical research versions of its Walk Training Assist and Balance Training Assist robots to 20 medical facilities in Japan. The clinical research versions are improved versions of those announced in 2011 as part of the Toyota Partner Robot Series. The improved robots are aimed to help in the rehabilitation of patients who find it difficult to walk or maintain balance due to illness or injury. Since that announcement, Toyota has been working with medical facilities to test and improve the robots, particularly with regard to improving user friendliness by streamlining training functions based on motor learning theory. Toyota is aiming to commercialize the robots as soon as possible. The Endox Scope is a unique lens and docking system used to connect a smartphone to an endoscope. It is composed of three components a phone adapter to attach an endoscope eyepiece to the camera of a smartphone, a zoom lens for the smartphone camera, and a portable LED white light source. The endoscope revolutionizes current endoscopy procedures by replacing the bulky traditional endoscopic monitor, video box, light source, and wires with a more compact wireless device. By using the smartphone as the imaging device, features such as still image capture, video, and wireless capabilities are all available to the user enabling the physician to leverage the benefits of mobile technology. Unfortunately, the device has yet to be cleared in the U.S. At 38 pounds, the Zinger is likely the world's lightest folding chair for enhanced mobility. It can take riders a distance of eight miles at up to six miles per hour. While it resembles a wheelchair, it is not a medical device for disabled users and is not intended to replace a joystick-controlled power chair. In addition, it does require the use of hands, arms, and when backing up, legs as well. It does look like it could offer an interesting ride for grandma or grandpa though, and would probably give those mobility scooters a run for their money. For more medical technology news, go to mdtmag.com or get involved in the discussions at Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn via the links below. Until next time, I'm Sean Fenske, and this has been The Pulse.